Hey, hey guys, welcome back to another episode here from the Decked Out 2 server where we occasionally also play some Minecraft. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Things are happening, man. You did look at it. I mean, there's always tons of people on addicted. Oh, yeah, Karelis was slain. Hey, he survived. Yay. GG. People be, be uh, playing decked out nonstop uh, because it's just such a great game. Of course, you know, I'm addicted too. Uh, of course, there's also got to be a few runs again today. Phase 3 has started. Um, interesting stuff happened. I got a bunch of footage of that. Uh, you know, trophies got rewarded and um, new rules introduced. Um, good stuff, good stuff. And of course, as we are at the moment pretty decked out too heavy, right? You can't deny, uh, fan art gets inspired by that too. And here we got uh, an amazing example. Here we go, fan art of the week. Faylord uh, over on the Hermit Craft Reddit. The GOAT, the gainer of artifacts, TM. <laughs> very very nice piece somewhere down deep in the icy depth of decked out the goat managed to grab an artifact and um yeah on its way out chased down by the ravagers and monsters in there <laughs> thank you so much make sure to check out the links in the video description send failure some love over there uh, on the reddit and um yeah amazing piece thank you so much <laughs> i just love Love, it's amazing. Every week I'd be like, wow, you know, I'm going to have a hard time finding fan art, I guess, for this uh, episode, right? I said, uh-uh, <laughs> you guys deliver, it's insane. I even still have way too many choices and it's a hard, having a hard time uh, picking um, yeah, and choosing from all your amazing art pieces. We're talking about art pieces. We got to talk about some some stuff that's coming up uh, concerning the art here in the perimeter as well. I need to remember this this episode. Um, yeah, my sleep schedule, by the way, we've been talking about it two, three weeks ago. You guys gave a lot of tips. Thank you for that. Um, it was fixed for a week, but then ugh, I became obsessed with lore, with lore here in the perimeter. Um, so right here in the corner... There is a special location of the perimeter when we think about lore. Let's try to get over here and fly up a little bit and have a peek. So if we go up in that corner here, we see there is a quite big body of water. And it's always been there. And I felt, okay, we need to integrate this landscape uh, somehow into what's going on in the perimeter. So therefore, out here, we're going to build a gigantic ancient water tank that was then used by the ancient society that lived here once uh, upon the time to water all their important crop plantations here. This culture was obsessed with tomatoes, so much that they also at some point started to do crazy experiments and caused those killer tomatoes. Um, yeah, they, they were crossbreeding cows and tomatoes and that caused these monsters to appear here in the perimeter which, um, yeah, then eventually caused the civili civilization to be uh, going extinct, I guess. <laughs> it all makes sense. It's all coming together. But at the point is, we need to build a super detailed insane water pumping station. And then from there, expand our watering system all around the perimeter, connecting it with pipes and stuff to these um, yeah, plantations we had going on down there. And then we need to plant stuff in the plantations, kind of. But... You know, we're rolling it up from behind. First, we need the gigantic water tank that was here. Okay. <laughs> gigantic water tank that was here. And um, yeah, we want to build it here. So first uh, off, I need to uh, blend uh, what we got going on with our wall design here uh, upwards. So we're going to stack more of these plantation things upwards. And then we can put the gigantic uh, tank construction on top. Later down the road, then we need some pumping station that is connected to the water outside. Um, that would also be some ancient technology uh, being used here. So yeah, that's that. Um, I'd say I'll start stacking up some buildings here. Um, in the meantime, um, here, you guys can catch up on Decked Out uh, 2 again a little bit. I'd say um, we quickly fly over there and see what the hermits are doing, but um, looks like there is a huge queue. <laughs> Man, the usual suspects are here, 
plus some others. I haven't seen Kerales running a lot, but yeah, he uh, probably just run one game. You just heard that or saw in chat. But by now, I have a pretty good deck. And um, yeah, for me, um, we are in the midst or the official midst of phase two or phase three right now. Um, let's go over to um, my decked out booth. Oh yeah, check this out. I survived the death room. Yeah, I managed to do that. Uh, oddly enough, it was one of those matches I didn't record. <laughs> and I didn't even try. So unfortunately, uh, my only proof is I have my sign down there. <laughs> uh, but it was pretty much just ran in, clicked the button. The, the Ravager didn't react to me at all and I could easily run out. And when I was out, he started to track me. So I got that too. But by now, my deck is pretty strong. I have five stability cards, those are hazard blocks. I have to tread lightly and the evasion, uh, no, hazard block and clank block uncommon cards, five treasure hunter cards, five ember seeker cards, um, three sneak and then another rare card. Whoops. <laughs> I recently <coughs> got, hey, Keralis, what's up? Hey. Come here, man. Not much, man. You're I'm running too? I'm deck, decked out. Yeah, uh, no, I'm, I'm done for today. I've done like 12 rounds. Look, uh, look, look, look. Mm. My newest acquisition. Second win. Mm -hmm. Add 15 seconds of... Oh, this is not bad, Doc. Yeah, yeah. Loot and Scoot is still how's, unbeatable. How, how's, how's your overall deck? Oh, is um, it like... Can't complain. Oh, you, you satisfied? Oh, Let's yeah. see here. Sure. Tread lightly. Dude, you're going for the... For the un uncommon cards. Uh, you know, Stability. I'm kind of obsessed trying to build the most powerful deck on the server and not uh, submitting any points <laughs> into the <laughs> domes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. I don't know if this works out with our accent. Maybe we should just rename the, the whole deck a game. I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So, I'm yeah, I got, a, I got a fairly good deck as well. Oh, oh. Maybe not as big as your deck, but you want to see my deck? Yeah. Okay. Please. I'm. I'm pulling it out. There we go. Oh, that's a big deck. That, wow. Well, it's, it's getting there. It's getting there. We do Bounding strides. I don't know. Ooh, tread Dude, lightly. Do you know how many times that has saved me already? Because I can what jump. What does it do? Like, <gasps> oh, you think? got the jump bows. Ooh. Yeah. I'm jealous. Like, it saved me on level two quite a bit mm -hmm. uh, when being chased from Ravagers, just jumping up on like... You know, Lots of treasure. Things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of treasure Where hunting there. Good deck. Good deck, my friend. You're getting there. I'm getting there. Yeah, I'm far behind on the scoreboard, but hey, at least I got a good deck now. <laughs> I don't care about the scoreboard, man. I just want to be the deck god. <laughs> 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 the best deck in the game. Oh, yeah. I, I love it. Yeah. I, hands down. I've tried yeah. some hard levels. I'm not sure you've tried those yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. I have five embers left now. I did I did a, a few farming runs, you know, just to bolster my deck a little bit. And from now on, I have five more to go. And those will only be hard ones. So, yeah. Like, yeah, I'm, I I got a, like a level three artifact. And I didn't know if it were the entrances. It's like, oh, where my do God, I look? Yeah. I had like One of eight chains. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm pretty familiar with the layout down there at in the level level two by now, but uh, still some of the spots, treasure spots or artifact spots are just brutal, man. Like if you get in the middle oh. of the room there below the bridge, good luck. There's always going to be like three ravager camping. It's like yeah, rough. Well, it can actually, be rough. Today they're camping at the entrance on both entrances. At least for oh. me, the last round. Yeah, nice. it was terrible. That's yeah, awesome. And I'm, I'm terrible at percurring as well, which is, <laughs> oh, I hate that level so much. Yeah, yeah, hate yeah, that level. Yeah. But hey. Hey, it's got to be a challenge, man. Training, training. Get down there. Okay. Good luck, Deck of God. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, pretty much what I just told Keralis, that all was meant uh, to be told to you, but now you heard it too. That's, you know, efficiency. <laughs> so, yeah. That's where we at. What? No, I'm are you are you I'm, living I'm next to me? A, I'm uh, I'm not well. <laughs> very wow. modest. I'm going to build that eventually. Wow. Okay, today. Oh, wow. Mm. <laughs> I'm a simple man. Yeah, yeah. I'm simple a simple addict. Man. I don't need a simple it. addict. 
<laughs> no time to build anything. Got a player. Yeah, yeah, I see. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. All right, carry on. So yeah, that's that's uh, that's where we at. Oh yeah, I can could also mute myself. <laughs> that's where we at at the moment, guys. Um, so yeah, the next five uh, few runs we do is gonna be hard runs. But um, yeah, I definitely want to show you um, a few of the yeah, let's say farming runs I did. Right. Oh, we need to uh, get ourselves some rockets. And of course, uh, the first run we did um, in phase three. So yeah, check out what went down when um, phase three started. Lots of fun was had. And um, in the meantime, I'll start chopping away over at the perimeter a bit and uh, get some sandstone and wood placed. All right, first run. First run of phase three. Don't uh, mind the door. Not throwing any names out, but somebody shot the door. <laughs> they broke some armor stand magic. <laughs> okay, set the spawn. Okay, it's still set here, funnily enough, from yesterday, I guess. Okay, all my stuff in. And bing, boom, bang. All right, nothing on me. Not hungry at the moment, that's also okay. I'm gonna do a medium run for I have 11 shards now. Um, and yeah, I gotta join Tango's group. Hey, Tango, how is it going? <laughs> What's up, Doc? I'm ready, baby. Medium Excellent. run to medium run to warm up. That's that's fair, I guess. Oh, yeah. I like it to warm up. I yeah. like it. Yeah. Then I'm planning to have 11 charts you gave me graciously this week. So I think one medium run and then we're going for the hard ones. <laughs> I love it. Oh, God. Love it. I don't know. I might be overconfident. The last three runs went well. So now I feel I own the game, you know. <laughs> have you you've pulled stuff out of it? You've returned successfully from uh, level two? Yeah, or yeah. Three, okay, good. three by now. But only oh, the, the medium ones, you know, that, that are relatively at the start, I guess. Right, right. Okay, level one artifact though. All right. So let's see. Oh baby, welcome home. <laughs> uh. Okay. I was under the impression, by the way, that one door was broken when I was running my last few runs. The one. The one all the way in the back, you know. The one all the way in the back was in fact uh, was in fact broken. I fixed it. Oh. I had a temporary redstone torch on it that was keeping it permanently locked. I feel bad, but it's ah, fixed yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, no, it didn't bother me much. It had no problems really, but yeah, that's my normal route. I go, you know, my my favorite route. <laughs> I was like, hey, wait a minute, this can't be luck, bad luck. Okay, wonder. Did you mess with the zoning here too in in, in the first layer? Mm -hmm. Any insider info? <laughs> uh oh. Okay. No ravages so far. Don't know where the bad boys are. Probably all cuddled up somewhere in the the back of the dungeon. Looking at the compass a little bit, but at the moment. Uh, how many clank blocks do we have up? Nothing. Now we just got a sneak card. Good. Oh, there's Ember. I like he. Wow. Okay, one Ember. In theory, I can get four Embers on that run. With my... Ah, there is one guy. Okay, here we go. We coming? Yep, he is. Man, yeah, with so many people on, I can feel my connection being a bit choppy. Hey, hey. A little bit further, thank you. Treasure Hunter just popped. Now we got to speed a little bit. He might be behind us and see us. Yeah, indeed. Alright, then let's get out of here. Break line of sight. I hear treasure popping. There's Ravager. Bad boy. Okay, we got to kite him a little bit. Did we break line of sight already? Yeah. Okay. Not here. Further back here, maybe? 
Ja. Alright. Oh, Chisel of the Undead Sculptress. That's 19. That is, of course, tasty. I have one additional ember. Okay, I'm trying to book it a little bit here. Let's go downstairs and see if we can pick up some treasure there. Did I hear footsteps? Ooh, treasure going off here everywhere, it felt like. Tread lightly, so that... Oh, there we go, there's one. So tread lightly is uh, a hazard block times four, so that is good. We have so many cards still to play. All right. I'm looking around a little bit. I want to check treasure room upstairs. I heard some dinging sounds here. Oh, baby, that's what we want to see. Stability. Stability playing, good, good, good. How many coins do we have? We want to find at least one more. There, there is one more, so one crown as well. Here, ravages somewhere here. Stability. It's another coin. Mm. Man, how many cards do we still have to play? So many. Ah, I'm gonna. Man, the greed, the greed. Ah, oh, this game, man. Got to look around a little bit if something dropped in here. Heartbeat is Ember Seeker, just pop in. Two more embers potentially being dropped off. One, but dispensed somewhere. Let's check around the corner here one more time. Okay, we're going in deeper, one more, like Heartbeat. Heartbeat is really still good. Sneak. Got another clank block. Uh, our deck is playing well at the moment. I think there's one back there. Mm. More treasure, there is a key. Sneak. Okay, I think I want to look a little bit further back here. There is the Ravager up there. No treasure. All right. I think, yeah, well, I don't know. Hard to tell. Don't feel any ravage of pressure at the moment. Treasure hunt to pop in again. Man. I feel like I'm camping too long though, right now. Right? I mean, but that's how you should play the game. Stay in there. Okay, we're gonna do one more run through River of Death room and then we're out. See if you can grab some more treasure there. No Ravager. Here is a treasure spot I know about. Stability. Let's do one more look up in here. Alright. I think the gods of the dungeon are telling me it's time to leave. Stop being greedy. Uh-huh. 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 You've been eating long enough. Stop being greedy. <laughs> okay, whoever got the song reference gets a free free bonus point. Okay, stay focused though until the end now. I can't sprint anymore. 
I can't sprint anymore. What am I doing? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> With all the talking. Ooh, I couldn't sprint anymore. You're crazy. What are you doing? Oh my god, everybody watching probably lost it. But I'm sorry for putting you're this You're good, you're good. Oh my god, I forgot to eat and couldn't sprint in the end. <laughs> I love it. Oh, but really, really nice artifact. 19, man. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty impressive for level 1. Yeah. Who and two extra frost embers, seven coins. That was a decent run, man. Yeah, I'm pleased. Can't complain. I'm pleased. So, so now good luck with the cards, man. Come on. All right, let's see. Come on, shop. Bless me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty-two. You taught to nice. me. No. Oh, what does the next one drop? No! Don't do this to me! <laughs> How many do you have? 21. <laughs> oh, no! Well, as you saw, we had a decent start into phase 3 of decked out. We got 11 shards in total and yeah, I did a few more farming runs similar to that. On medium difficulty and yeah um, that gave us the card eventually <laughs> as you saw I showed you my deck in the beginning of the episode we got like five shards left right now and yeah we're only gonna do hard runs with these it's time to go deeper into the dungeon and explore more and um, that's the goal and um, yeah I actually wanted to do that already but <laughs> It's the Hermitcraft ser server, right? There's always something going on. Something is distracting you or, yeah, taking your time, although you have other things planned. And, yeah, there was a fun little incident the other day. <sighs> yeah, it brought back fun memories. So check out this clip. And in the meantime, I start building here over at the giant water tank project, which is gonna uh, look really cool. I've gathered a lot of resources for it already, might need a little bit more, but um, yeah, I'm antsy to start building now. We're introducing a little bit more of a color palette here, and uh, there's good lore reasons for that. It should be an interesting build and add uh, insane lore detail to our whole perimeter area here, which I'm enjoying more and more. Just had a talk yesterday. Of course, you know, I always work with Jeromos, one of my old school Minecraft friends. We hang out and um, yeah, late nights and build things way too late for poor Jeromos because he has to go to work next morning. I always feel bad. But yeah, we were talking about and our creative process that was going into this build we're gonna do today. And um, yeah, adding lore to our builds and to our uh, ideas, like helped a ton. I can only recommend doing that. Um, you know, it gives you so many more ideas, especially for details or how you want to uh, build things in the end. Um, because, yeah, you follow the lore a bit, right? For example, our lore here is we had this ancient society that was a high technology and focusing on crop harvesting. And um, it's kind of mysterious ancient technology. And by doing that, um, it was easy to come up with a cool design and a cool lore for what we're going to build next. But yeah, um, check it out. X screwed up big time. <laughs> That's great. What uh, the? No, 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 no. <laughs> Biggest mistake. Oh, there's more. There's more. Oh, now you can see the leg. Oh, uh, let's go. Hit I did a thing. So, yeah. guys, uh, <laughs> Cub oh, sends me a message boy. on Discord. Goes like, hey, dog, I don't know. Something must be wrong with your Witter cage. Every time I go there, the server lags out for 30 seconds. It's like, what? Oh, no. <laughs> Go check, nothing. Look everywhere. And of course, Suzuma's stupid skunk thing, man. <laughs> he oh, has yeah, like man. these things around where he was breeding chicken and it's a nightmare. The chicken are back. Oh my god, no. So many of these guys. There's like 1500 oh chicken here. Something like that. Like two, three hundred in each of these machines. He wanted to use to spread skunk. Oh my god. How are we gonna kill them? Like we try to open it and then like yeah, you see the result. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Rough. 
He has stairs in there to prevent, uh, you know, entity cramming. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. This is zoo, This man. is crazy. <laughs> this is quite a lot. Although we are spreading the smoke, so it's not all bad. <laughs> Yo, it's super laggy though. Look how they lag about. I was wondering, yeah. man. I was also feeling it. I had this lag spike. Oh. I couldn't explain to myself every time I crossed an area in the, you know, yeah. And then obviously those were loaded in then. And I was like, yep. what is going on? But Dog, I didn't how know. How many of these machines are there? There's five or six. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. You had this oh, plan no. of spreading skulk everywhere. And then it ran out of, you know, steam because Skulk only spread so far and then he wanted to spread it further with his chicken things and something failed. <laughs> and yeah, then the he just left them. XP. Oh, man. He just left them. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Wow. <laughs> so bad. <Dang>. For, <laughs> uh, for weeks I'm breaking my brain what the spike is. I was already blaming my mods. Messers was making fun of me non-stop. <laughs> He's like, haha, you with your 600 mobs. mods. I was like, I have like 10. It's not me. Uh, finally. Okay. Um, but how so many chickens. Yeah, how are we going to kill them, though? Like, <laughs> like here's another so one of I, these. I, I didn't see what happened. Uh, do you pop the top off and they all yeah. shut off the top or what? Wait, let's make a quick, quick group real quick. I'm going to make one. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Man. Uh, open recording. Hey. Dang. Yeah, that's here. He has a setup like that. I try to take off the top. Um, you know, he, has a, he, I, he has it set up like this. Like, and then you know you cannot put the lava in because he has his ladder there to prevent hang the on, entity burning. I got this. I got this stuff. We could put a lava. This no, we can't. Oh. We'll get some TNT. We'll just vaporize the entire thing. Oh, oh that can yeah. Work. Yep, yep. I'm getting out some. Uh, Sorry, X, but these so things have cute. to go, man. I can't deal with another chicken trauma, man. It's like I still they have PTSD. Right, here we go. <laughs> Post traumatic chicken set. syndrome. Put this stuff away. I swear, if this, this is a chicken up. bump now and they all spread out everywhere. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You gotta really cover it, you know? Hook gotta so. make sure. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Are you sure that's enough? In there. I think yeah. this is good enough. All right, let's try it. Uh, alone okay. in this thing, there are... Let me look. Pretty effective. Pretty effective. Yeah, man. I'm surprised there's actually chickens that survived. Wow. <laughs> Some of them shot out on this side. Yeah, there's a few. I think there was like 200 in there or something. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, I guess. Uh, That's a thing. Oh, man. Yeah, but that's a better method to cut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It <laughs> saves a little bit of time. Yeah. Yeah, and still the server is still stuck, struggling a little bit. You can see how the chicken are, you know, phasing about a bit, right? Like, and players. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm glad we caught this now, though, because it could have been really bad. I don't know if it would have been building up more. I think he had just Schalke boxes there with eggs, you know, and he ran all the Schalke boxes through. So that's 1,700 eggs per Schalke box, three Schalke boxes per thing. So he blew through so, 5,000 eggs. <laughs> so if the chickens are in a ladder, they don't entity cram? Is that what was going on? Yeah, pretty much. Yep. Uh, okay, okay. Or a, or a vine or something, you know, that is climbable. Got it. Uh, then they stop pathfinding pretty much and stop cramming. So when we release them all, that's probably even worse, you know? <laughs> when they all move about and pathfind and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, exactly. Man, I'm also hearing these shrieker noises makes me paranoid after two weeks of decked out <laughs> runs, man. <laughs> <laughs> right. oh, it's like, Building dang, Clank is activating, clank. boys. <laughs> Gotta get out of here. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Max Clank coming soon. <laughs> Max Clank. Well, that's at least some time to spend until phase three starts, right? <laughs> some sure. Server yep. maintenance tasks. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, you can feel it, man. Oh, yeah. There's 150 plus chickens here. Here, how many is in there? Uh, Ooh, let me see. Okay, this is going to be bad. Entities, 200. Oh. Yo, oh, you're good. 
You That's evaporated them all. That was perfect. Oh, look at this. Look at this. We got a chicken cooker going. Uh. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's going to happen. Hang on. We got to take all these guys out and I'm going to swoop right here. <laughs> Rip chickens. Oh. How did they survive? How? That doesn't even make sense. In the water. In the water. No. Oh. <laughs> Watch out. Lots of TNT going off. Holy. Oof. <laughs> yeah, that was... There we go. We, yeah. That's how we solve it here. Here, I'll, I'll stop this lava. It. But we're still lagging about. There's still so many entities. And then turn off the redstone clock he got running here too. What is he doing, man? He's killing the server. Yeah, it's like, crazy, man. You know, that's what you get when Sizuma gets whoop, bored whoop. and goes like, I don't know. I need to do some random stuff. He kills the server. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just forgets about it after uh. <laughs> three, four weeks. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Um, yeah, here's another one. I got one more, a couple more. There's over there. Wait, one, two, three, four. There's still five around. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my no God. wonder. That's that insane. is so many. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I will break. This. Somebody's gonna have to get banned from the server for this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the only solution. It's the only solution. Yeah, he, I, I remember when he made this episode and then there was some fail, it didn't really work. The chickens didn't die in the lava or so. And then he just left him, I guess. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, all right, chicken. Time to say goodnight. I don't feel and... safe right there for some reason. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no! They, no! They, how did they survive oh, that though? No, Man, yeah. they just rocket out of there. Oh my god! That's you need to kill them though. though, and yeah, it's even yeah. worse than down in the perimeter with the stupid terrain here. Oh yeah. no! Just me. watching them all just shoot out was amazing. I love it. <laughs> oh, a whole lot went down there into the valley. <laughs> oh, did they? <laughs> it has X joining. <laughs> all right. Yo. <laughs> Get over here. Oh, there are a lot down here, dang. I see. We can take these guys out easily. <laughs> it is kind of madness. <laughs> so, can we not like build a tube up above the chickens, remove the ladder, and just drop lava in? Maybe. Is that. Yeah, yeah maybe we can try That's the, the two. Build up a little bit. Or drop TNT in there. Yeah, or drop. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yo. Hi. What's happening? Eggs, that. man. That. You left your chicken things at your skull, and we have like 1,500 entities of chicken here lagging out everything. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. That's, really rough. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, those farms didn't work, so I gave up on them. Yeah, I know, and you but just now, left them. Now they suddenly work? You just, well, they're full of chickens. You just <laughs> left eight of them here with 200 chickens sitting in there. Yeah, that's because it, it didn't work. Like, I built the farm on my redstone server, <laughs> then I came and built it on here, and it just wasn't working the same, and I was just like, well, that's ruined everything, and so I left it alone. Yeah. Uh, I'll come have a look. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're killing it at the moment. We're blowing everything up with TNT. Yep. <laughs> well, hang on a second. If it actually works now... No, it doesn't. No, no, it doesn't. It, it, it doesn't use. work. The just, chicken just up the in chickens. there you wanted to use to spawn eggs. They work. You have 200 in the upper chamber. Just sit there. That isn't, that isn't lagging you out, is it? Dude, we have... Eight. There's like seven of them with 200 chickens yes. in each. Ah, it's easy. That doesn't... <laughs> yeah, please. no. Please. You guys need to upgrade your hardware. <laughs> the server almost this died. This just makes it a breeze. Dude, mm. the server almost died for 25 seconds every time <laughs> I flew over to no. Skyland. <laughs> Oh, I yeah. had no troubles whatsoever when I was 
working on that thing. Yeah, oh, because in go. the meantime, you left it. There was not so many yeah, chicken. Yeah, that's the way, Hypno. Dude, yeah, that seemed all pretty dead. good. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I want to come over and see this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, go ahead. I'm not going to do anything with it again. But like, no. I am. I am astonished. I was so annoyed that that didn't work, and now you're telling me it's lagging things out. Yeah. I'll have a look. <clears throat> Is this the last one, or the, is there more? I don't know. There, but there's, there was. So here is one. I see like two more over this yeah. way. There's a bunch. Probably better now that we've taken a few of them out. Yeah. Right. There's eight of them in total. All right. Oh, oh my okay. goodness. Yeah. <laughs> eight. Yeah, that's why I was like, I was came looking and saw sixteen hundred entities. <laughs> All chicken. You know that I still suffer from post-traumatic stress syndrome from yeah, all the chicken. Yeah, no, right? I'm not feeling any lack. That's yeah, because we killed like a thousand already. <laughs> yeah, we killed quite a few. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. <laughs> I can see which ones you got. Uh, okay, so there's, you're behind like this, now. there's two more. Look how you fly in. You literally stutter fly in and you're, you're claiming... Look. It, like you literally, <laughs> stutter fly? What are you on about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a much cleaner way to do this, by the way. Is there? Yeah. What now is it? All the chickens are escaping. Oh, the baby uh, chickens! Oh, rip baby chickens! Oh wow, chicken head! I don't know how they survived, because um. Okay, what is your suggested way to do that easy then? Um, if you just Oops, look sorry. at the top, just grab a bucket of lava. <laughs> uh huh. Over here, the, he, these are the last ones. Yes, yes. Uh, anyone got a bucket to hand? Yes. Yeah. Here, come. Yeah. Okay, so oh, it might be it might be a little bit tricky because there's a ladder up there. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. No. Let's have a look. And I need some blocks. Oh no, mm -hmm. blocks. I can hear the shrieking going off. <laughs> yeah. Any anyone got a bucket? Yeah. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Uh, bucket lava. Nice. Thank you. Break that ladder as well. Oh, have they started already over there. Are we missing out on the uh, no, the no, news? not yet. Rian is doing some runs he still needs to do from phase two. Oh, <laughs> oh no, oh, what did you do? really? Uh, let's go. Oh, I wonder everywhere. if we, I wondered that if we tried that before and it was an absolute disaster. Yeah. <laughs> It was the ladder, man. That, uh, I didn't know how they were going to act with the ladder. <laughs> hey, look, we're spreading the skulk. Uh, this is the way right here. Succeeding Boom, again. all gone. Uh, it works. I love it that everybody played along and just let you do it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, do it. No, no, X, X knows. Uh, yeah, He's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aha. We are getting there. Me likey. Look at that, how that nicely flows up. With the building stacking up and on top, there's the giant water tank. And you know, builds like that just goes to show we definitely need an inventory overhaul. Look at the block variety I've been using and I still had to constantly switch out and go back and forth and remove some of my tools so I have more inventory space using the offhand to squeeze out one more inventory slot. Yeah, for builds like that. And it's not, you know, it's using a decent color palette, but it's not insane. Um, it already gets really tedious building stuff like that. But yeah, what's the lore behind this? Well, we have our giant water tank that will be fed by a water pumping station from this body of water, body of water here. And you know, there will be some cool stuff on top I'm planning to build today as well. But yeah, it's a huge water tank. We need to fill in some water here up to where this crack is. Uh, because yeah, it's ancient technology and at some point, you know, when the civilization here fell, also the buildings withered away and decayed. Or maybe one of the giant slimes attacked the water tank. Who knows? <laughs> but there's a crack and some of the water was running out and the system is partially yeah, not working fully anymore. And we have these dark cracks and spots in here. And as I said, I will fill in some water here in this black box. We will have, um, you know, to create the effect of, of depth in 
the huge tank. The tank is built from granite-like material. It has to be more solid than the rest of the constructions here. Sandstone, that's where a different material is used. And then there's massive copper braces around it. Down here, there's, uh, I imagined as being a turbine-like emergency flooding system in case something goes wrong, you, you can <coughs> lead, uh, let the water flow out here into the perimeter and there comes another huge decision that derives from the law. So I, for the longest time I was debating what kind of floor decoration I will do here and I will definitely try to put a partial floor decoration in but also have huge parts flooded like this because yeah that's kind of the law. you know the watering system at some point uh, broke and then the area here is flooding and I have to constantly fight the water that is still uh, running in from the systems and groundwater right. That's my law here, so yeah, we're, we're gonna have huge flooded areas like that all over the place, but we'll also ha try, I, I have some ideas, it'll evolve, but it all's coming together, so huge body of water uh, building in here the, inside the perimeter because that water is leaking from everywhere. Mm, I'll put some debris on here, I guess, to, you know, symbolize that the rock crumbled and fell down onto the rest of the construction, and um, yeah, that's where we're at right now, and yeah, liking it a lot. Um, the lore also is this like huge copper tank that is uh, built uh, in with this stone to give more stability. You can see the copper here, uh, uh, polished copper. Obviously, it's inside there. Didn't like a water tank uh, or water pipes. You know, you would use copper to help that, and it's ancient technology, so they used what they got. And yeah, so got the copper peeking out, and you know, some bolts and screws there to bolt in this huge window that is there to be able to see the fill filling level of the tank, right? So, yeah, it all makes sense. And down here is the emergency flooding system, right? In case something went wrong, alarm would go off and the, the you know, the area could, be, the water could be let out, flooded. And uh, this the system and it's also grown up and mossed up by now, no, no longer fully working. So, yeah, that's the basic idea here. And uh, yeah, there's one of these random disconnects I, I've been getting recently, just like that. Boom, and it has been a problem, for example, if you would like to run um, decked out, which uh, yeah, I plan to do now because I want to get some, some hard runs in. So let's see if we get a good run or two. And yeah, I'll go over to decked out now, now take a little break from the building here and um, yeah, try to get a good run. All right, we're going in. Um, I just did two runs, they gave me nothing but frustration and more map knowledge. Um, yeah, I'm slowly working my way into the hard mode. Let's, let's, let's see how this one goes. Um, yes, yeah, I, I still have a very hard time finding some of the compass locations. I, yeah, I just don't have enough map knowledge yet, but you know, there's no other way than building map knowledge and going down there. It might be costly for shards, um, but so be it then. Um, yeah, if we go down, okay, we don't have anything on. We just try hard, damage us a little bit, and then eat golden carrots. So we're nice, nicely filled up. All the stew stuff that we're pe people were doing, that is banned by Tango. <laughs> Normal food is allowed. Okay, hard mode. Let's go in and see how it goes. Mm. Got uh, key luck was all right, so you know our deck is built uh, with enough treasure hunter and so on uh, to give us a decent amount of keys, so we can get to the deeper levels. So the, the deck is good. Now, what's missing between us and success or more success we've been doing decently, you know, on the medium runs is a level two artifact. Is yeah making it out with uh, uh, consistently with level 2 artifacts on hard runs. That would be the dream. Alright. Going on my standard route here. I mean, <gasps> whoa! I'm not going on my standard route here. Because there's already two. We need to loop this guy a little bit. Yeah. Holy moly, it's gonna be a pain later when we when we need to get out again. Not so pleased about that. Oh, but I'm hearing 
pressure going off potentially here in the roundabout. Ooh. Oh, but clank also. Okay, we get a bit of clank block. There is another treasure location here, which triggered, but the wrong treasure. We need key. Okay, let's go on this right side route here. Hopefully not triggering too much clank and stuff on the way. There's a bit of a new passage here that leads to the river of doom or death as it is known. Okay, here is... here we need to quickly sneak to avoid the, the clank. Okay, scoot back here. No ravages inside. Two of them are up front, we know about them. We need key. Stability. Stability plane, yeah, treasure hunter we wanna hear now. Okay, I'm quickly gonna camp out here a little bit. Gonna finish the route. Maybe we camp out in the in the key room. Portal room, the kneeling man. Okay, we got a bit of berries out of that. It's alright. Let's have a peek here. Stability. No ravager here. Stability card plane. There is treasure, a treasure spot over here. Yeah. It gets to be a bit quiet. We don't want to clank it up like crazy. We have a bunch of hazard block and clank blocks up. But, yeah, technically we want to see the hazard blocks being played later. Okay. Stumble. Stumble. Not good. Treasure, but not the kind of treasure we'd like to see. And seek popping. Oh, and the berries we grew right away. That's fortunate. Right. Still need a key though. Come on. Second wind. Well, that's also not ideal to be playing now. We need keys. That was second wind giving me regen, a short burst of regen and the speed boost. Well, obviously, we want that card to be played later. Ember Seeker played twice already and haven't seen the single Ember. We're backtracking here a little bit. Let's go to... Oh yeah, I could hear some dings on the right side here. Still no key though. Finally, some treasure hunting. Okay, come on. Treasure. Let me hear it. Can't hear it. Means it's far away. Oh. Felt like that was straight ahead. Coins! It's nice to get coins, but we need key. No key luck. Skeletal. No key luck. Let's look over here. There's also treasures, but there. Then we have to browse through crypts again. Clank. Ah. 
and and rear. You can check up front as well. Ember seeker. Ember seeker triggering. No key here. There's this guy. Oh, I just heard a ding sound to our right. Boom boom. Come on, man. You got to be kidding me. Okay. Stability. Yeah, that's rough. If you, uh, you know, the heartbeat is already rising. We got to hope and pray. We need a key. We can, we can try to go down here a little bit. Try to make it to the lower room. With a ravager being right here. And another one there. Oh man, now we pulled two. Awesome. But we, yeah, embers. No key though. Wow. Unlucky, yeah? <laughs> Come on, treasure hunter. Give me some treasure hunters. Give me everything but treasure hunters, I guess. Ember. Unreal. Key. Good. All right, now let's make it back. Just gotta hope this guy is not too close. Yeah, we can survive that. No worries. We can take one hit. Alright. The clank. Have to hurry up. Let's make it down. Embassy could pop in again. Still have Clank block up. Need to recover some health here. It all costs time. Okay. Deep into this level. I need to be able to take at least one hit. Come on, berry food. Fill me up. Oh, it's so measly. The plank. I need to heal up. It's somewhat over there. Stability. Could be anywhere, I have no idea. Alright, let's go. Pointing up here, a little bit over here. No, it's not here. It's definitely further in. Here is spiders. Don't want to linger here too long. Okay, so this way. There is a spot here, which is it, which it's not. There is a spot further down, right here, which it is not. Further in somehow. Back there. What is back there? This ship pretty much right through here. There's this area. Is it on the ship? Is it here? 
you know what? Back here. Is there a spot? No, it points back in. Here. Yeah, here. Seems to be. No? Clearly. What? Here. What? Is there is, is there a spot below? What? What would be below here? No, there is. Is there maybe? Oh man. Okay, let's 100% double check it's not here. I mean, we're turning on this one clearly, right? Mm -hmm. So it must be, must be below us. Yeah, it's not here. That's okay, verticality. It must be below us then. So what is, no, not down here though. What is below? Is there anything below here? Oh boy. Oh no. Probably there is. See us? Wait. This just triggered something. this a easter egg five crowns oh man but i will not make it out of this Sneak. take a screenshot i'll leave the crowns here man if i take them i'll not survive this run most likely but hey okay found an easter egg okay but now we need to yeah i mean i'm just really wanting to triple check here. I mean, it's flipping profusely here, but it's not here, so it's got to be somewhere. I mean, the only thing that I can imagine is back there is ship. There's the ship. Oh man, this is all bad. Can't really get out here. Um, no. Okay, I'm starting to get a bit weird because I'm not 100% sure, sure what to do we need. Is this guy zoned there? That's what I'm wondering about. Is this guy zoned? If he is, we're good. I mean... There is the ship. Clearly our stuff is not here. But where else would it be? I mean, there is nothing below here. Is there? Well, I eventually died in there then and my deck got stuck too because I was in there like for 20 minutes looking. And um, yeah, then Zedaf came about, Tango showed him how to get the deck unstuck. That is one bug we discovered. Like if you stay in there too long, there's a chance your deck can get stuck. Um, but yeah, by now I'm 100% sure that this is actually a bugged out compass location because there's nothing below. I mean, I must be, I would have, yeah, I would have to be very, very wrong. Reported it to Tango. He'll look into it. I'm pretty sure that is a refund. But um, nevertheless, we found an Easter egg. Yeah. We found, who did we found? X yeah. We found XP crafted. Indeed. So he was there at his room. I mean, I guess one good thing came from me being forced to look around there everywhere, completely losing my mind um, about the compass location. Um, but yeah, this should be reported as found then. I guess I have to report that to Tango too. But yeah, it's uh, pretty early um, in his day. Um, he's slumbering away, maybe like 3, 4 a.m., his time so um yeah until tango shows up i have plenty to do at least we got our deck back and people could run decked out now i mean there is a small chance they might get the same compass uh, location and then get scammed too but um 
At least I think we did a smart call by leaving the crowns in because, yeah, I was sure I would not make it out there alive. Like, Clank was already so high and having trouble finding lo the location like that was certain death. And, yeah, the crowns are still in there. So hopefully uh, nobody else will discover that until we can safely run again, until Tango fixed those bugs and then we hopefully can try to get in there and snack those five crowns. Man, it would be a shame if somebody else pulls him out. But I think it was a smart call to leave him in. At least if somebody else finds them now, you know, they're not going to be lost uh, by pure greed. Because, yeah, my position to get them out was not a good one. And I didn't want to take that risk before I had um, uh, the artifact in my hands, right? And, yeah, looks like this location is bugged. No problemo. And, um, yeah, until Tango shows up, I'll guess I'll do some more building here. There's plenty of things to do. We want to build a kind of a dome-like structure on top of here and start connecting what we got here a little bit to the land. All right, we're going in again. <laughs> the spot is probably still broken, um, so hopefully we can get a refund when Tango has reviewed my footage. <laughs> uh, maybe we can go down again. We know now where like the easter egg was and we left the crowns in don't know if anybody else came across I reported I found the easter egg but I didn't let anybody know I didn't take the crowns out <laughs> you got to be strategic man you know so I hope they are still there if I get a chance to get there I'm not gonna like force it to go there my main interest is to get a successful hard run get an artifact out that would be the dream, right? That's what we want to do. Hey, heal. Okay. Drain some health. Gotta try out a little bit if you do hard ones. Fill up your saturation nicely. Alright. We got nothing on us. Double checking. Making sure respawn point is set properly. Difficulty hard. Fingers crossed it's not the same, same one again. Please. Oh, those hard runs have not been nice to me now. You know, I finally found a, a nice location and then it was broken. <laughs> Before I was just running around roaming, gaining map knowledge pretty much. So, you know, you can never chalk it up as a loss. It's always something you uh, take out of the dungeon. And if it's knowledge, um, that's also powerful. Alright, let's see. Please, no level 3, I'm not ready for that. Ooh. Okay. Oh, level 2 again. Okay. Same drill. We are trying to locate a key. Don't have to worry about the compass at all. Okay. There's no ravages around. Oh, already clanking. Stability. Jam was running before me just now. But I didn't get a chance to talk to her to share share dungeon information where I think that okay there's one ravager over there mm -hmm. we want to see treasure hunter playing now please okay there's one there alright not ideal let's pull this guy ember seeker popped Locked on again, right? Yeah. Let's go down here. Don't think this guy over there saw us. There's no guy over up here. Alright. Sneak. <laughs> There's treasure there. Are yeah, we just gonna go this way? Lots of traffic here. Might have chased us a bit. There's a key. That's good, very good. Stability. All right. Got some clank blocks up. Getting some berries, but we had to skip one berry spot there. 
Okay. Good. Please be open. Thank you. in with six berries it's all right <clears throat> let's see you can already prepare that we have to go in deep again there is a guy all right so there's one here and there We can make it out here and run straight over, loop him around here and then make our way to back there. Yeah. Boom. And then we try to break line of sight as quickly as possible. Okay, this is already very bad here. Okay, okay. Hopefully they leave us alone. Okay, we dodged that bullet. Don't have any here. Oh. What? I can hear that Ravager back there. Somewhere here. Come on now. Back a bit. Here. Here. What? Okay. Okay. 20. Oof, there was a Ravager watching me all the time. Okay, let's try to run up. Wow, I heard treasure going off like crazy. Let's quickly check in here. Get some food. No embers for us yet, though. It's a bit unfortunate. Man, why did Tango put that spot right there? All right, let's see where this guy is. It's over there. Okay. I guess to try to loop him. Number one is looped successfully. Oof, go, go. There's an ember there, but I can't be bothered to get it now. Alright. Managed to break line of sight. Okay. Yeah, let's get out. Oof. Okay, now we have lots of cards to play still. I want to, hopefully, maybe we can get some more embers. This is a 20. 20 is an odd number. Sneak. Sneak be plain. Try to make our way through here. We know there was a lot of Ravager traffic back in, in the ice region, and I just heard one to the right of me. But there's that. Treasure here. Man, sounds are playing. Stability. Let's have a quick peek. The greed is real, but gonna make make this run count. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a ravager back there. Didn't see us. There's one inside. Let's 
It's right there. Yeah, we can easily run past it. All right. Sneak. I can hear a guy to the right there. But uh, okay, I'll chalk that up as a win. Here we go. We got the 20. Let's hope. Come on. One of the uncommons. Ah. Yes. Okay. That is nice though. Definitely gonna go for tread lightly. Yeah, I see. Second wind would have popped up again. Yeah, we would have needed more embers, but I got so anxious being down in the hard mode that I was just, yeah, interested of getting out of there. Artifact we take and I think yeah we take this one here. Let's dump our embers in. Cannot get anything more. Oof. Thank you, Gem. It was a okay run. I mean not super profitable, but hey. <coughs> oh. You can't complain about about that. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we did it again. <laughs> and now we die. <laughs> nice. Cool. Our stuff is already here. Perfect. That was awesome. I am pleased with this run. Another uncommon card acquired. That's really you, nice. How'd you do, Doc? How'd you do, Doc? I was, uh, I was okay, but I have to say I got a bit anxious down in the heart area. I could have went for more embers, I guess, but in the end I got the, uh, I think, 20 embers. Ooh, and then that's I, a good one. I bought another tread lightly. Nice. So now I got two of them. You have a really good deck. It's getting there, but I'm, uh, I guess, hopeless to win anything when it comes to... <laughs> like, I've been so, I don't know, cheap. I was I couldn't bring it over my heart to spend money on winning tomes. I <laughs> <laughs> you have to at some point. I know. <laughs> you have zero but points, you know, Doc. I know. But then the, the beautiful cards are there, you know, and they're so shiny, and it's like... Uh, why buy this? If you can get an uncommon card, I think you should. Right. At some point, four rares will pop up, and you won't be able to afford any of them, and then you can get tomes. That's it. See, yeah, that's my exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> that's actually mm -hmm. a good plan. You know, I don't need to feel bad. Just keep on going until your deck is filled up, and then you have no excuse. Right. Yeah. Okay, I feel better now. But man, I think I have. I would have to go on the most insane run ever to somehow catch up. ESO's been doing good. I've watched the stream yesterday. ESO's gonna mm. win this phase, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's gonna be tough. Anyways, uh, that feels good now. Didn't get the, the jinxed spot. <laughs> How many shards you got left? Uh, one, but I'm hoping on one refund uh, for, the, for the broken uh, collector right. uh, collection thing. But we'll see. At least uh, for the safe, I have one more. No crowns to buy anything, so yeah. Yeah, I uh, have eight crowns, so I might buy another. You never know. Oh my god, and I just realized I know where five crowns were, and I didn't pick him up this round. <laughs> silly, that's silly. Okay, I'm going to tell you a secret, all right? So I found this Easter egg, right? XP crafted, 
but uh -huh. Clank was already so high because I spent like forever looking around for the compass location that was broken that I knew I couldn't get out. Right. So I left the crowns in there. Well, you got to go back for them. Yeah. Well, if you find the spot, you can get them. They're still there. I ain't going down there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then, then keep it to yourself. I might have a chance to pick him up. <laughs> I just, All I was right. so Listen, nervous. If I, like, if I have to go down there, I will, but I otherwise, nope. Literally before the run, I say, hey, uh, we need to check the crowns. And then I was down there and got so anxious that I totally forgot about it. I was like, okay, I got the, the thing. You know, uh, it was under the bridge. And I heard ravager sounds all around me and I was like going to compass school, not finding the location like this for like 30 <laughs> seconds. And I was like, okay, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Hey. Hello. Hi, Zuma. How's it going? Yay, butcher's apron. Butcher's apron? Oh, uh, artifact. Mm -hmm. Which one is that? Is that that's got to be worth more than 20. It was, I think it was oh. a 20. Yeah, a 20. Oh, yeah, this is the artifact, right? The dungeon yeah. is ready for Straight its 20. next oh. victim. Oh. It's going in. Yeah. There's a chance you might hit this spot, spot, but other than that, it's running fine. Don't know, Tango just logged on. Maybe he's doing something. Not sure. Oh, me, me and Tango are going to uh, do a run together, I think. Oh, really? <laughs> are you going to yeah. use the lackey? Yeah, yeah. No, I brought the lackey. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I don't fully know what it entails yet. Um, okay. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens, basically. Yeah. All right. You should go then. Let us know later. <laughs> later. All right. See ya, Doc. See ya. Ah, redemption. Yeah, we got an artifact out, though it was still quite hard to locate there. Why did Tango put them at such mean spots right at the post there? Ah, <laughs> oh, it was so close. There was this ravager just around the corner. But yeah, look at this. I added a little top to the building and yeah, it also has some windows to look in, right? So you can tell the water levels and yeah, we extended it around here a little bit. I'm bringing it over and here I'm going to install some elements that symbolize the pumping station stuff at some point. And um, yeah, the basic shape is done and I really, really like how this whole thing turned out when we zoom over here, looking at it. I think it blends in nicely how, you know, the decoration from the side flows into this here and kind of creates these braces going around, right? It seems like it's holding the place up. And then left and right, we'll have epic pixel art. Just imagine it, you know, here is already then one canvas that can be used. Um, talking about that, um, I'll give you more details about that, fan artists out there, but it would be amazing if you could maybe transfer some of your existing art or if you feel like it, you want to do some new art um, and we could put that here on the walls of the perimeter. That would be so sick. Um, I give you an exact pixel amount then, you know. Probably there's going to be another chunk-wide separator here. But then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then height-wise, uh, we need to count. But nine by whatever height this is, chunks... And uh, that's, uh, yeah, we can do the calculations then, what resolutions, pixel-wise, we have. And then we would have to work with art um, adjusted to that. I wonder what can be done uh, with, you know, minimal, with a sm smaller resolution like that. But it, it's pretty big, you know, and I think we, we would achieve something cool looking here. I mean, yeah. So now I feel like I want to do the final details here for this design. I wanted to add some debris that is maybe fallen off from that crack that happened here. And maybe, yeah, a, a little detail up in here that would be cool. And yeah, I need to put in the water as well to finalize this build. There's just black boxes here, right? But here I actually want to fill in some water a little bit. So it looks like um, the water is in there still up to here. So we got to get, get some buckets and get that going. And yeah, let me do some more polishing. And um, i see you in a bit. All right. I can't forget, there's the thing. We need to replace whatever blocks below here with whatever the guy was sitting on. And yeah, in this case, it was crying obsidian. 
So that is found. How many are missing still? One, two, three, the golden egg. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we're halfway there pretty much. Well, about halfway done with finding the Easter eggs. Fully done with the basic uh, setup here or the basic construction of our gigantic water tower. I was just flying in. I needed to add a few more details upstairs, but that's about it. And that looks pretty epic from all angles. I love how everything flows. Yeah, that's looking good. How the building kind of flows up here. And then I have the water in now. Let's stand over here and look at things a little bit more in detail. Problem, free cam. It's just the best way to do that. Yeah, so the windows here, right? All blacked out and nice and clean now. And on top, yeah, I added this kind of small tower structure. Here you can also look inside. Obviously it's darkness. You can't see anything. It's a stark, dark dark giant water tank and yeah bell on top contemplating if i should make this bell functional uh, i think that would be cool if you actually you know could make it ring either fully automatically at certain times or i don't know i was just about to finish that here so here let's put that here i guess now you also need to get up there a little bit yep. okay wanted to add something like some bracer here maybe like this and then we hook it up. All right, and this is how the bell would be attached up here. Nice, nice. All right, yo, this is a massive bell. Yeah, it would be cool if it'd make it functional, I'd think. You know, we have enough space to hide some redstone down there. Hmm, maybe, you know, you can turn it on and then it will do ding dong, ding dong, you know, make some nice rings. That should be possible. I look into it. There's so many things you can do. Details, details everywhere. And yeah, talking about details here on the side, right? We had that crack. I filled in the water now. And then there's some debris of the crack that happened upstairs. Landed here on the side of the building. Damaged it potentially a little bit. And yeah, you know, fell down like this way. And you can see some debris here. And yeah, next stage would be we need to add our pipes and stuff. And connect things. I had a cool idea for back there. I don't want to spoil it yet though. But you know, we need cool stuff for each and every corner. Um, although in this corner, we have our tower pretty much. And over there, we have the Witter farm or the, you know, the Witter reactor. So there we don't need as highly detailed things as we need in this and that corner. So I have an idea for back there, some, you know, some plantation areas that are kind of tying things together, but are not as... Um, you know, built heavy as what we got going on here. You can see the copper aging as well <laughs> around us here has progressed quite a bit. That shows us I've been spending a lot of time here building this thing. Took several hours and hours and hours, of course. But at least I was in one spot and that did wonders with the aging of the copper. You can literally see where I was most of the time, where the loaded area stops, right? Right there. So, yeah. Um, I'd say it's time to wrap it up. Looking forward to next week when uh, phase four of Decked Out starts, when we will only do hard runs right from the get-go and hopefully get to know some of the map locations down there more. That is my biggest issue at the moment still. I'm comfortably moving around there. Mostly I can stay down there until absolute max clank, uh, you know, more than 10 minutes easily. But in many cases, um, I didn't know the good routes to yeah, the treasure locations or the, the artifact locations yet. So if we improve there, I think um, we should be able to consistently pull hard runs off. And I'm really looking forward to do that. It's going to be fun. Um, yeah. And with that said, as usual, uh, let's get to the comment of the week. And we have an interesting one from Matthias here. Um, he asked, why don't you use your item storage transfer system of episode 2? Um, I'm pretty sure um, they're referring to Poppy technology, aka Shadow Tech. And um, as you know, you know, this technology is yeah, patched. I mean, it would... 
I literally require a hive mind of people to somehow figure out if that still works, but you know, chances of that um, actually happen are pretty much non existent, aren't they? Aren't they? Mm -hmm. I would suggest to that question you keep your eyes and ears open, and um, yeah, in case you wonder, Doc is turned into a builder now. Where is the game breaking stuff? Just wait and see. <laughs> Man, lately I've been thinking about this weird song. How was it again? Shadow on the wall. Doo -doo. Bum -bum. Doo -doo. Shadow on the wall. Anyways, I see you next week. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>